you're just a piece of life, aren't you? Are you? No, 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 that's not true. You are a bundle of thoughts, emotions, ideas, opinions and prejudices right now, not a piece of life. If you sat here just as a piece of life, not as a man, not as a woman, not as this, not as that, not as a thought, not as an emotion, just a piece of life, this would naturally reverberate with the rest of the existence. Right now, you invested too much on little things, like earning a living and having this and having that and missing everything. Oh, should I not have this, should I not have that? Having is not the problem, clinging is the problem, isn't it? Having is not the problem, what you have you become that after some time. See, suppose this was your vessel, it is not. Suppose if this was your vessel and let us say this you inherited from your great-grandfather and it's made of gold, none of this is true right now. But suppose <laughs> it is so, if I have to hurt you, I don't have to come and beat you, all I have to do is do this. <gasps> Life will go. And it's happening to you. Maybe you have not inherited a golden vessel from your great-grandfather, but every little thing that you acquire is taking your life in some way, isn't it? Hmm? All these things we acquired, thinking that these things will make our life. See, we got these gadgets because we thought it will make our life. Right now, this gadget has become a nuisance. We can't keep our hands off it. We're doing such some messaging somebody <laughs> Communication, of course, but not a communion. So, once you've come here, you should not leave this place without knowing the full depth and dimension of what this life is about, isn't it? Nobody should leave without knowing this because other things are subject to various realities. We do not know whether you will get to run hundred meters in eight seconds, what do you… you can't do that. We do not know whether you will climb Mount Everest or not. We do not know whether you will earn billion dollars or not. But this much is possible, you can explore the full depth and dimension of what this is because you don't need anybody's permission, you don't need any kind of anything. If you are willing, it's there, isn't it? You may be willing to climb Mount Everest, but your lungs may not be ready, your legs may not be ready. With this, it's not like that. It is not demanding any particular capability. It is not demanding any particular situation, only your willingness. But you see, your willingness comes in installments. Nothing wrong if you had a ten thousand year lifespan, nothing wrong. Fortunately, you don't have that because if you hung around for ten thousand years, oh, what a miserable world this will be. <laughs> you may think whatever you want, but it's good you have come with an expiry date. Is it not good? Have you noticed on a particular lay when you… when you're very joyful, twenty-four hours poof, just went off like a moment? You're miserable and depressed, one day goes like a eon. So only miserable people have a long life. Joyful people, even if they live to be hundred, it's too brief. Before you know what's happening, it'll be gone. <laughs> really, <laughs> it gets over too fast. But if you're miserable, you will live long. 
So it's a very brief life and whatever is of paramount importance to this life must happen at the earliest, not day after tomorrow, isn't it? It must be today. So, the life process doesn't wait. You need to understand, your life is just a certain combination of time and energy. Energy we can manage, time you cannot manage. It's going away, hmm? It doesn't matter. You're awake, you're asleep, you're okay, you're not okay, you're happy, you're miserable. Going, going, going. As I'm talking, you're two minutes closer to the grave. Yes or no? Time you cannot manage, it's just going. You can only manage your energy, you can manage your activity. How you make use of the time, you can manage. But you cannot manage time, it's slipping away, isn't it? So if you recognize that your life is just a certain amount of time and energy, you would definitely invest your energy in a way it is most meaningful to this life, isn't it? But if you do not understand this, if you intentionally forgetful about the briefness of life and you go about as if you are eternal. Yes, you are eternal, aren't you? On a daily basis you are not aware that life will end for me and it could be today. Not to be terrified, just to be in tune with the fundamental facts of life that it is possible that our lives could end today, isn't it? Possible? We are not intending, we are not seeking that, but it's possible, isn't it? If you miss this, then you will miss your whole life. If you do not understand that you have an expiry date and it is not even fixed like a pharmaceutical product that you have another two years to live, it could be just about any time. If you miss this one fundamental fact, you are sure to miss your whole life because everything that's vital will be tomorrow and tomorrow never happens. There is a… a certain superstition in South India, maybe it is here also, particularly in Karnataka, where on all the village homes, in red paint it will be written, Naleba. Naleba means come tomorrow. They write it in red paint because devils will come wanting to enter your house and they can see only red. You didn't know this? Because they're looking for your blood. They can see only red color, so it's painted in red ba paint, Naleba. Devil comes to your house and says, okay, this house is tomorrow and goes away. But the fact is, most human beings have done this not to the devil but to the divine, <laughs> Naleba. <laughs> if you've done it to the devil, it's okay, but you've done it to the divine, isn't it? <laughs> Tomorrow, <coughs> we'll meditate tomorrow, yeah? So, knowing life is not some superhuman effort. If you stop being some other rubbish and just become life, which is what you are, knowing life is not far away, it's right here.